Hello explorers and welcome to another video. Today we are going to talk about sanity. And I'm not really well yet, so this is gonna be a short one, but let's just jump right into it. So here we have an Ubuntu box with the GUI, and it's important for this specific command line tip. Because Zenity is something that is installed by default on Ubuntu, and could probably be installed on most distributions as an extra command that you can run in your script. And what does it do? Well, if we type in here, Zen it pretty much says run help, so you know what you're gonna do. And you get a bunch of things here and you can say display a calendar, display an entry, display an error and so on. And you also have help information for all of these dif different things. So for instance, let's say uh, display calendar. And what we get, calendar, um, we get, we need some to get some help on that one as well, help. Let's see, uh, or did I, yeah, I typed it incorrectly, calendar. So you see here we get a calendar selection. So I can say I want to have the 21st and you get a date back and you can say how this should be formatted and so on. So you can get the right date back. Um, you can, say password for instance and you get the password dialog here if i put in something that could look like a password you get that back so this is a way to give you a direct connection between your gui and give you input dialogs where you can choose things type things in and handle data in a dialog form and then give that back to your script Another uh, important thing here is file selection. Uh, selection. So let's say that you want to do a script that opens a file and sends it over the network or something like that. Then you can find a file here and you get the full path back. And that could be really useful in any of your um, scripts. You can have a question here and say, uh, let's say text text are you well we get a question here yes no no I'm not well and you will get a um, zero back if you uh, entered yes you get a one back into your script so this could be really useful if you're scripting things and want dialog boxes on a specific system so this is a small helpful tip that you probably could help uh, use in your scripting I hope that you liked this video, give it a like, share it with your friends and colleagues. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. Have you used Sanity in any of your scripts? Leave a comment in the comment section down below, or if you have any other comments or suggestions. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that, and I really hope to see you in the next video.